I'm going to the Bridgerton experience. So flippin' excited to go to the Bridgerton experience. We're going in a few hours and I'm wearing something I made. I'm gonna do my makeup, my outfit. I'm gonna go hardcore for this because this is a once in a lifetime chance to act like you are part of Bridgerton in the Regency area, bow to the queen. Anyways, I've wanted to go to the Bridgerton experience and it was my plan to, and then I realized the Bridgerton experience was ending. It's ending in like mid July in Washington DC. So I was like, oh my God, I gotta go now. So Monday, a couple days ago, me and Cody are eating breakfast. I see this ad come up on my phone on TikTok that says Bridgerton experience ending soon. And I go, Cody, we need to go to DC. He's like, yeah, okay, I guess that'll be fun. And I go, let's go tomorrow. And he's like, tomorrow? And I say, scratch that, let's go today. So a few hours later, we drove up to DC four and a half hours and now we are here. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the outfit I'm wearing, the makeup, the hair, blah, yada, 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 yada. But first we need to start doing our makeup like now because we gotta leave like soon so let's go let's go okay i'm in a rush i do not like the fact that i'm in a rush but we are going to speed through my makeup i also think that this primer is breaking me out so that's not great bridgertons have perfect skin and i currently have horrible skin so we must correct and conceal hello camera are you excited i am excited be a I'm gonna be the diamond. You're gonna be the diamond? Gonna Do you think you're gonna be the diamond over me? No, I'm not one to choose sides, but I'm wearing a Keanu Vanilla original. He is wearing a Keanu Vanilla original. Both outfits made by me. So if you get the diamond by proxy, I am the diamond because I made your outfit, right? Yes. I have to like calm myself down because obviously I really want to be the diamond of the season. Who wouldn't? But this is not the Regency era, and it is not real. I know I am the true diamond in my own life. So, I gotta not be sad if I'm not the diamond. <gasps> oh my god, that was way too much. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? You idiot. You idiot. Oh god. Is anyone else's forehead like five shades darker than the rest of their face? Because, same. This is my favorite contour stick, the Makeup by Mario contour stick. I'm obsessed with it. This is the shade medium. When I went into Sephora, um, the lady gave me the shade light medium and it was lighter than my skin. So I had to go back. I still bought, I still have a light medium. I should have returned it, but I felt bad because I used it already. So now I have two and one of them I literally can't use because it was lighter than my forehead, even in the winter. Hello. Hey, YouTube. Oh. My god. Um, so Cody has actually not seen Bridgerton, which makes it like way less fun for everyone involved because then Cody's not gonna be geeking out over everything. So last night we watched season one recap and a season two recap on YouTube, and then we watched Season two, episode one. Yeah, season two, episode one, but Cody fell asleep halfway through it, so he got part of it, but he like understands the vibe, right? You understand the yeah, vibe I get the of vibe. like seeing the queen. Yeah. Practice. Have you been practicing your bow? No, I haven't. Okay, show and us your bow. Not my curtsy either. Sure. No, no, you don't need a curtsy. Oh, well, I want a curtsy. Okay, show us both. I don't know. How do I do that? Isn't this a curtsy? Like. Oh, one bagel, please. <laughs> one, one bagel, please. <laughs> okay, show. How do I bow? Is it like one knee? Is it like? I don't think you do that. I think you just bow. I think you just go like this. Yeah, we need to learn how to solo dance. Oh my God, we need to know. Well, not solo. But we need to learn how to dance together. We need to learn the quadrille, the waltz. You know. I don't think we have time for that. Okay, if you learn, you're the leader. I just follow you. I don't think I have time for that. Either. What do you mean you don't have time? We have two hours. Go learn it. like a Bridgerton does not have too much eye makeup on so we're gonna try to be a natural beauty even though I'm fake as heck okay when I say natural I also mean natural with eyeshadow I still will be having large eyeliner internet the difference between boys and girls looking for things how long did that take 
Are you smarter than a female? No. <laughs> Here you go. As I'm curling my eyelashes, I'm realizing I forgot to bring fake eyelashes. I'm a Maybelline mascara girly through and through for the past decade. Red dress, so red lips. Why not? A Bridgerton would not have a red dress or red lips, but I would, so. Okay, makeup, done. Time for the hair. We'll be using my favorite. No, they're not organized. Now I don't know which is the left or the right side. Okay, well, these are my favorite hair extensions of the moment. I'm getting a bunch more though, very, very soon. This is the Milk and Blush Quad Weft Extensions, which is perfect for short or blunt hair because it's super duper thick. Time to put up my hair. I need to pin up my hair. Oh my God, I gotta do a lot. Okay, section up half my hair, the eyebrows. All right, so I pinned up half of my hair, sectioned the bottom half of my hair in two, and then I French braided both of those sections. You wanna do this if you have short or blunt hair because then if you don't do it, then these little pieces will stick out with your hair extensions and it won't blend well. So I just pinned those pieces up. Then I'm grabbing my three clip weft, pinning that at the nape of my neck or clipping it at the nape of my neck. Then my four clip weft on top of that. Then I'm gonna let down the section and then create a new section just with the crown of my hair and then pin that up. Then I'm gonna grab my three clip, three clip weft, pin that up there and then let down that section again. Then for the sides of the head, I have four two clip wefts. So I'm gonna put one right at eyebrow level and the next a quarter, or not quarter, a half inch from my part. And then just repeat that on the other side. Also side note, my hairdresser did already layer these extensions. So they do blend super, super well with my natural hair. Okay, this is my hair, it's all in. I think I wanna do half up, half down. So I'm just gonna curl my hair first and then I'll figure it out because, oh, but I have a headband. Ooh, maybe I can put my headband and then put the, yeah, okay, hold on, time to curl. Okay, my hair is already like kind of curled from the extensions before, but I'm just gonna touch it up and kind of blend my hair because I don't want it to be too curly. I just want it to have some natural waves, so. Okay, my hair is kind of messy and it's not blended super well, but that's fine because I'm gonna pin a bunch of it back so I didn't care enough. Here is my, I was gonna say tiara. <gasps> I should have brought a tiara. I brought a headband. Oh, no. so much for that diamond. Okay, here's the headband. I'm gonna place it here. Perfect. Oh, it looks cute just like down, but I think half up, half down gives Daphne Bridgerton. So I'm gonna take hair and then just leave some out and then pin the rest back. Like, I think this is cute, right? Like that? Yes. Hey, Cody, will you help? Yeah. Come stand over here. I hold this hair. Okay, half up, half down was not working. So I think though, we're gonna be fired by Daphne with her little side pony. Do some long pieces out. Perfect. The rest behind. All right, there's the side pony. Oh my God, that looks horrible. I miss all of my hair. Oh my God. Okay, this is what we're working with right now. It's kind of a mess. Um, so I'm probably gonna pin up some pieces and change it. I don't even know if I like the side pony. I kind of do though. I haven't done a side pony since like eighth grade, but I think it's time to change into the outfit so that we can get a feel for what we're working with. Also, do you like this robe? I made it, check it out. If you like this robe, you can buy the pattern for it. This cute little flounce robe, how adorable is this? Wait, look at the little flounces, flounce, so cute. Also the pattern comes in like normal without like the flounces, just regular sleeves. So check it out, it's linked down below. But let's go put on the outfit. Cody, show them your outfit. Kiana Vanola, original vest. Ooh, show them up close. The crowns, you know. Very fancy. Yes. I made this like an hour in my menswear yes. class, so it's like not the best, but um, it fits on him. It. It's a little loose, but it's gonna work, right? Hey, yes. It's oh wait, work. you are not wearing those. Those glasses. <laughs> okay, show them the rest of your fit. White button down. White button down. Um, show them your watch. Got the watch. Show them your crystals. 
I won too. Okay, good. You're trying to become the diamond of the season, right? I'm trying to become the diamond. You're trying, I'm to, trying to, to manifest? Make, yeah, you're I'm manifesting, I'm manifesting it. And he just has black jeans. Yeah, and black show him your jeans. shoes. Show him your shoes. The Chelsea boots. Express. <laughs> Here is. Oh, they've seen it before. You've probably seen it before, unless you are not a true follower. Um, I made this literally in the end of 2020, I think. So we're going to throw this on. Corsetti, it's giving Bridgerton ish. Is it exactly historically accurate? Obviously not, but very cute still. Okay, here is the dress. Corset top. Ooh! She is gorgeous! Now, this is Bridgerton, so we need some gloves. However, I need gloves with hand or like fingers in them. These are fingerless gloves. Did I wear them to my second grade father daughter dance? The answer is yes. And here we are, 15 years later, wearing them again. Very cute. They would look cuter with fingers, but what can you do? Now we're cosplaying as a rich person, so we're gonna need some fake pearls. And then we need some pearl earrings. These are clip on. Okay, now we just need to fix my hair. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I fixed my hair. I think it looks like, okay, it's giving Daphne. Now because this dress is really long, like, mm, I don't need heels. I'm sorry, it's full length and no one's gonna know. So I'm gonna wear these white shoes and when they peek out, it's just gonna look like I'm wearing white heels. Okay, and I'm ready to go. We need to practice our curtsies. Okay, I think I, I take a step to the side and then just bow my head. Is that what I do? Figured oh my God, we need to Google. Show your bow. That's it? I don't know, I don't so know. So Okay, let's go! On our way to Bridgerton in our ridiculously expensive lift, we actually bought VIP tickets, but we got there late, so it didn't really matter. This walkway in was super cute, and then there was so much to do, including this little portrait session, which they just took a photo, and then it like put a filter on it, but it was really interactive, and that was fun. So we got this cute little keepsake. They also had actual costumes from the show Bridgerton there. There was a gift shop area, which was very inexpensive, honestly. Me and Cody bowed to the queen, peep Cody literally falling, and then after he like fell over, they said, good job, sir, vanilla ice, which was cute. <laughs> it was so funny, everyone was laughing. And then they had a ton of performances from the Duke and Daphne. This is the second room that they took us in, just as beautiful as the first. There's Daphne, they had silks, they also had like a chandelier that they danced on. It was really cute. And what I was surprised about and I didn't know was there was a lot of interactive experiences. So me and Cody got to dance a lot. Oh, and here are the diamonds being crowned. How cute are they in their little matching dresses? And I'm glad I got that little shot for them because I airdropped it to them before the end of the night. And then it turned into a little party with all of us dancing for like 15 15 minutes. This was really fun. Um, be oh god, be warned of Cody's dance moves. There he goes. Woo! Oh god, be warned of my dance moves. Oh my goodness. They also served drinks, so we were having a pretty good time at this point. We are back from the Bridgerton experience. Show me your new shirt. Ooh, my new Cody shirt. Cody just bought a shirt from Zara. Ooh, yeah, fashion forward. Okay. Um, did you have fun? I had a wonderful time. I actually had a lot of fun. I was not expecting it to actually be fun. I was expecting it to be more of like a show, but it was so interactive. They like brought us in on so many dances. Mm -hmm. We like went down, like, what do you call it? Like we went between everyone and dance. Yeah. We got to the queen. I got personally insulted. He did got per he did get personally <laughs> insulted. He bowed to the queen and they said, okay, vanilla ice. <laughs> um, but there was a lot of dancing in the piano. It was just like a little dance break and me and Cody were like, oomph, oomph, oomph. but if, Bridgerton is still going on near you. I think there's like a week left by the time you're seeing this video in certain places. You gotta go. Literally core memory for sure. I had so much fun. <laughs> oh yeah. I had so much fun. So you guys should go. 10 out of 10. Would do again. We'll remember this forever. I'm glad I took so much like footage of the night and I'm glad we got a lot of videos. If you guys like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up because it's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>